In today's show, we have a story on community service. Stand up with Allie on the cheer. Buzzfeed quizzes. And community life drawing night. Hey Vikes, I'm Weedy. And I'm Madison. And you're watching SVTV. We are making stories by teens for teens. Creating a platform. Finding character. And giving others a voice. This is SVTV. Two weeks ago, the seniors went to do some community service work. So we did a story. Let's go check it out. Some seniors went to Shawnee North Community Center to help out with landscaping. Let's go learn more about it. We are basically just clearing out all of the weeds and unwanted things and the flower beds and things like that. Their goal for the day was to pull out all old weeds and plants that were dead and get ready to plant new ones. Uh, we are uh, busy winterizing the pools, uh, pulling all the flowers out of the flower pots. Um, my favorite part would probably be just helping out around the community and cleaning up North Topeka. This is the first year Seaman High School students have helped out Shawnee County Parks and Rec with landscaping. The hardest part about this is probably not getting all of your clothes dirty. Uh, this is the first year we've actually had people come out and help, uh, so you guys, uh, high schoolers, are so far the, the go-to people. The fall was a great time for the students to help because the pool is closed. Uh, during the summer, obviously, we have swim lessons. We swim. Uh, we have brand new flowers every year. Uh, there's all kinds of things you can do during the summertime. Fall, not so much because we don't have any waters in the pool. Students were able to get every flower bed cleaned out and ready for spring when the pool opens back up. Wow, that looked like a lot of fun. Now on to your announcements. If you want to take the ACT in February, sign up today. Payment for payment is due today for seniors wanting the copy of the panoramic picture. SVTV needs you to subscribe to their YouTube channel to reach 1,000 subscribers. Come out and support the cheerleading team at Washburn Rural. Doors open at 10 and their first performance is at 11.30. The entrance fee is $5. Allie did a stand up with Killian. Let's go check it out. Hey Vikes, I'm here with Killian to talk about the cheer competition. So when is it? It's tomorrow at Washburn Rule. Um, doors open at 10 and it costs $5 or 5 canned goods to get in. So when do the girls perform? We perform what our state competition is going to be at 11.45 and then from like 12 to 2 we've got individual stunts, jumps and tumbling after that. So why should people come? People should go because the cheerleaders make an effort to go to all of the activities. Even if we don't cheer at a sport, we will try and go to at least a game. And it would re be really nice to see uh, other people sporting us. Competitions are a lot of fun, so make sure and support those girls. Now back to your anchors. There are new Math Lab hours. Math Lab will begin starting Tuesday, November 12th. It will open Monday, Wednesday, and Friday mornings from 7 to 45 a.m and Tuesday and Thursday afternoons from 310 to 415 in room E6. Spirit Club is asking for your fresh ideas for game themes. Please complete the survey on your Class of Schoology page. The Letter Jacket Man will be here during uh, lunch on November 19th. He will be set up in the Commons to take orders and or answer any questions you have. If you have your letter, bring it with you. Parking spaces and fines. Please make sure you are parking in your assigned spot unless you have talked to Officer McKay about parking elsewhere. Fines will be given. Hey Madison, are you into art? Yeah, but I'm not too good. Kaylee joined the Community Life Drawing Night. Let's go find out more. Artists are quietly drawing at Community Life Night. This event happens once a month, which like-minded artists get together and share thoughts through art. So Life Drawing Night is an annual monthly event that the Art Club sponsors where we open up 901 for the community and from 6 to 7.30 we take turns drawing each other from observation. So it's kind of a, a neat time to work on our observational drawing skills. As far as who we target or who we would like to attend, it's really everybody. I think you know somebody who wants to draw better, wants to practice, or somebody who loves to draw and yes, wants to continue to develop those skill sets and to build their portfolio. You know, it could be a. We have a range of people participate from you know first, second graders all the way up to people in their 70s and 80s. So yeah. 
Community Life Drawing Night is free and is encouraged for everyone to join. Because I like to learn how to draw and, and when I grow up I want to be an artist. My favorite things to draw are snakes and wolves <laughs> and uh, my dog Zuzu, she's a pug. So I think as, as an art department we believe that it's important for us to you know, stay connected to the community, provide opportunities to, uh, for our students to interact with the community and vice versa. So it's really just an outreach. So to get involved, all you have to do is just come and join us. It's the first Tuesday of every month from 6 to 7.30. And it's as easy as that. You don't have to bring anything. You just show up and we have all the drawing supplies. And at recess, I go around and ask people, like say we do um, life drawing, like um, we draw other people like they model. And um, my dad could text your mom <laughs> if um, you wanted to come and tell your mom where it is. That sounds awesome. I should go sometime. Hey, did you know it's Dunce Day? Yeah, I went to go find out more about it. John Dunce was a smart philosopher who wore a pointed hat that was originally a symbol for knowledge. Now it's a symbol for idiocy. What colors mixed together make green? Yellow and blue. Black and yellow. <laughs> yeah, red and purple. Purple and blue. Oh, is it like red and yellow? Who's the vice president of the United States? Mike Pence. Mr. Schmidt. Okay, so vice would be before, so therefore Barack Obama. I do not know. Barack Obama. Mike Pence. What year did World War II end in? 1945. Uh, 1970. 1843. I do not know. 1944. Babe Ruth is a legend of what sport? Baseball. Uh, football. Tennis. Baseball. Baseball. Congratulations to Mr. O'Brien. He's the only one that got them all correct. That's it for National Dunce Day. Have a good rest of your day. Congratulations, Mr. O'Brien. Now over to Madison with sports. I'm gonna listen to my story about a man named Jed. A poor mountaineer barely kept his family fed. And then one day he was shooting at some food. And up through the ground come a bubbling crude. Oil, that is. Black gold. Texas tea. The Beverly Hillbillies. Come see the Beverly Hillbillies on November 16th from 7 p.m. to 9 p.m. in the auditorium. Five dollars at the door. Better get a front row seat. Some say e-cigarettes aren't dangerous. But science shows nicotine can harm teens' developing brains. No matter how they're exposed. Let's do an experiment to find out. Here's a teen who won't be using e-cigarettes. Now we need one willing to risk their brain development. Anyone care to volunteer your kid? Anyone? Your kids are not an experiment. Protect them from e-cigarettes. All right, guys, we're going to start a new unit today. We're going to be on the presidency. Go ahead and take out your computers, please. When using technology, remember to do the following. Follow teacher instructions. Use only your computer passwords and keep them private. Be sure to report all technology problems. Keep your computer in the case and charged at all times. Use your computer for appropriate use only. Be a Viking. Practice good digital citizenship. Seaman strong. The athletic trainer needs their equipment back. All crutches, boot wraps, braces, anything that was loaned out needs to be returned this week or next week. It can be brought to the athletic trainer room in the North Gym or left in the athletics office. That's all we have for sports. Let's see what Weedy has to say about the weather.
Here's your weather for this Veterans Day weekend. Today's high is 49. Tonight's low is 34 degrees. Saturday's high will be 69 degrees. Sunday is 59 degrees. And Monday, Veterans Day, is a cool 32 degrees. Back to your anchors. We have another BuzzFeed quiz. This one's about if your crush likes you back. Okay, so first, to find out whether or not my crush likes me, I need to choose a snack. And I've decided I'm gonna choose, I think a loach just looks funny. Um, pick something healthy. <laughs> Ew. This looks kinda good. Okay. Now, pick something that's not the healthiest. Definitely KFC. What are you drinking? A smoothie? Wine. <laughs> What's your favorite kind of pasta? Who eats bow tie pasta? I've never had bow tie pasta. I like elbow macaroni. <laughs> Lastly, choose something for dessert. Um, donut. My crush maybe likes me, which that means, okay. Um, I don't really have a crush. So like if someone, if I do one day, then like uh, they might like me, <laughs> maybe. Lastly, choose a dessert. Oh, I like bow tie, ice cream. Sorry, they don't like me. <laughs> Shoot, that sucks. It's okay. There's so many more people out there. You'll get past this. It's fine. I didn't have a crush anyways, but like... Wow. Well, I hope my crush likes me back. Yeah, me too. Well, that's it for today, y'all. We'll be back Tuesday with a story on yoga. Make sure to subscribe to SVTV. Thank you.